want to do one last video on user management and in this video I just want to show you how to reset the password, lock and unlock a user and set a user's uh, log on hours, what hours they can cannot log on to your particular network. So we need to go to start administrative tools and Active Directory users and computers and once we're in there we can set our our management on, on users as, as we need to. So if I pick a user and I right click you'll see a straightforward option of reset the password so I can put the new password in there and once I click OK that will be the new password um, set account lock good status in this controller they're unlocked if they were locked you could unlock the user's account there so that's set the new password and then locking out the user perhaps who's had so many attempts at logging on they've locked themselves out so you could just reset the password for them and click unlock and that's the user unlocked um, the next thing we can do is we can disable an account so you'll see there's a down arrow now so that user's been disabled um, we would disable a user perhaps they've left the company so you want to disable their account you might not want to immediately delete their account you might want to just disable their account because they may have stuff in their drive or whatever that you want to access at a later date so that's how you would disable an account and if, it, if an account's been disabled you you you, you won't find it in this option. What you need to do is right click it and you'll see enable account. So that's, and then there's no arrow there. So it's, it's straightforward to reset the password or um, reset the password, or disable and re-enable account. That's pretty straightforward. Um, another thing you can do is add to a group. Um, so you, you've got the group option there. So you just, do a search for your staff group, for example, uh, or whichever one you've got. Um, what groups have we got? We've got um, we've got users, and we've got staff. So if if we've made a particular group, all we do is right click and add them to a group. So we, we know we've got domain users. So if I want to, I can add them to the domain users, but they're already in there. So I wouldn't, uh, it won't let me add it in again. Um, if you want to um, set the log on hours, so a company may particularly not want people to be working before nine or after five, there you've got log on hours. So you can click log on hours and you'll see that everything is blue so they can log on whenever they like. So if you don't want them to, if you don't want them to work on a Sunday, or be able to log on on a Sunday, you select all and you click log on denied. And if you didn't want them on a Saturday, log on denied. The only problem is if they decide to come in to do overtime, you need to remember that you have to enable it again. And that's basically how you set particular log on hours. So I think that's the last few user management tasks we've got. They're pretty much all comes from right clicking the user and add them to a group copy it. remember I showed you when you when you create a user if you copy it you'll have the same group permissions you'll have the same uh, shares so it's a quick way of, of making a user to use the copy um, and disable add to group reset the password and that's pretty much all there is to to the user management thank you for listening